One third of Bloomington is dedicated to parks and open spaces. And with an investment that significant, city staff are committed to protecting them. The Natural Resource Management Program exists to, uh, in, to protect some of the important natural resource areas in the city. According to Morrison, Buckthorn has been a presence in Bloomington for some time. And although the Parks and Recreation Division hosts a Buckthorn Removal Day each year, those efforts haven't gotten ahead of the rapidly growing plant. Because there is so much of it, we, can't, we don't have the resources and staff to handle but we need to eradicate everything. And even with hiring outside contractors, which is what we're doing with actually our limited funds that are available in this for natural resources restoration, we wish there were much more money out there to do this, but we're doing what we can with what we have and targeting key areas. Minnesota Native Landscapes is a company that specializes in the restoration of many ecological systems. And in Bloomington, crews are focusing on woodland restoration. Correctly identifying the non-native buckthorn plant is the first step in removing it. In the fall it can be easier uh, as the leaves tend to stay green longer than um, native trees and shrubs would. Uh, in the winter it can be a little bit more difficult. Uh, there are a few ways to tell uh, that it is a buckthorn. One would be um, if you see the telltale berries. Um, the female, female plants will have berries on that will stay on through the whole winter. Um, the buds on the tips of the twigs are opposite, and then there tends to be a thorn on the end of the twig as well. After buckthorn is identified, a brush saw, which is a large weed whip with a saw blade on the end, is used to cut the plant at its base. It's evident here just how thick buckthorn can get, and in some places, crews are barely able to move through the understory. The next step is to chemically treat the left-behind stumps. The way to get rid of buckthorn most effectively would be through use of herbicide treatments. One way is spraying and that tends to use a bit more chemical and introduce some, some more into the ground and into the soil. The way we do our buckthorn control in the winter time with the cutting and stump treating tends to use less chemical where we're able to selectively place the chemical directly on the cut stump. The larger trees require a chainsaw to be removed and once taken down, that stump is chemically treated as well. The final steps would usually include bundling the buckthorn and later chipping it and spreading it back into the woodland. But the project doesn't end there. For this project, we'll come back in the spring and perform a foliar spray to spray any of the seedlings less than three feet tall that we didn't cut and to also spray the new growth. And something as important to the city as these parks, it's clear why we're going the extra mile to protect their longevity.